Just bear with me a second until I get things set up here. All right, there we go. Hello, 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 and welcome to Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I'd like to welcome you here today. We are going to be doing a fun technique today. And we are going to be using the Penguin in Place stamp set and the coordinating punch that goes with that. We're also going to be using our colors for today are Tahitian Tide, Pumpkin Pie, Starry Sky, and of course, Memento Black. So we are going to get started on the technique portion of this card first. I have here some vellum. And I am going to use the Starry Sky and the Tahitian Tide and a sponge to add some color to this piece of vellum. And as you can tell, I am just pouncing spots of color all over the vellum. No rhyme or reason, just pouncing color. Alright, we are done with the Tahitian Tide. We will move on to our starry sky. And I'm just going to try to fill in the best I can around the Tahitian Tide. Something like that. Alright, I've managed to get it all over my fingers already. Imagine that. <laughs> Alright, let me grab a wipe here so I can get it off my fingers as best I can. And I'm going to slide this out of the way for a minute so I can clean up the ink that I got on my tape or uh, on my mat here. Alright, I think I've got most of that. Just to be safe, I am going to bring this in for when I do my Hard. All right, let's pop this on here. That's very wet. Now I have alcohol. This is 99% alcohol and you need that strength. If you use like a 70% alcohol, this technique will not work. So Make sure you get the percentage in the high 90s at least. Now I'm just taking my paintbrush and I'm dipping a corner of it in the alcohol and touching it to the paper. And as you can see, this works very quickly. And you can do small dots, you can do large dots. It's whatever you need. It just causes this ink to move around on the paper. I've seen people do this technique and flick it, like hit the paintbrush. I tried that way and oops, it did not work for me. That's a big puddle there. And 
And every one of these, you can do this a hundred times, and every one of them is going to be different. Alright. And as you can see, that moves around and creates different puddles. Now you're going to need to set this aside to dry. And yes, it will take a bit. All right. So for the purpose of this video, the alcohol cover back on, you see it doesn't take very much. For the purpose of this video, I have already pre-done my sheet. So let me get my hands cleaned up as best as I can and I will bring in my dried sheet. Same colors as I just used on the other page, but this one has dried. Isn't that cool? All right, <clears throat> so our card base today is Tahitian Tide. And on the inside, I have a piece of basic white that we're going to put on here. So we have a nice place to write our greeting. And just pop that on the inside and then we will burnish that fold. Now, if I was to put this directly on here, it looks okay. But if you put a piece of white behind it, it really makes it pop. So I'm going to get my paper cutter and we are going to cut this sheet down to match our cardstock, which is three and three quarters by five. Now, if I wanted, I could take this little strip and pop that on the inside right there. I might do that after, but right now we are going to work on our focal panel, which I have here. And you see how much that pops. Now I'm going to grab my silicone mat. And I'm going to put some glue on there. I'm going to grab, grab. I'm going to grab my glue sponge, and I'm going to flip this over, and I am going to pounce the Tombow on the back of this vellum and spread it out. And the reason you do this is that if I just put the glue directly on the back of this vellum you would see it and that would ruin the look of the card we don't want that so i am just spreading it all out making sure that i'm getting glue on all the areas and then grab my stamp apparatus here i'm going to pop that into the corner Pop that into the corner and we will press this down. There we go. That's the easiest way that I know. All right. Now I have a little edge here. That I need to trim off. Oops. There we go. Let's see the other edges. They all look good. All right. Now I am going to mat this on black cardstock. 
for even more pop. And that's going to have a little border around it that's just going to play off those bright blues. Oops, I am crooked. Let me get this off here and try again. There we go. All right. So now this can go right down on our card front. And this background technique is going to be the star of our show. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? Big contrast between the black and the turquoise and the blues. All right, now all we need to do is decorate. Now there are a million ways that you could decorate this card, literally. I have pre-stamped our little penguin and I thought this kind of looked like a water background. So I thought, why not use this penguin? I haven't even used him once this season. So that's what we're going to do. Now, just in case you're looking for these, these are carryovers. The punch is item number 156452. And the stamp is item number 156410. You can still get these items. It's just that you can't find them in the catalog, okay? All right, now by the magic of video, I have a whole bunch of these little guys. And I also have some trees. I didn't know whether I wanted to put some trees back here so that that kind of looked like sky up there. And I have more trees we can play it out. And I have some pump or pumpkins ah, some penguins all cut out here this little guy's got a hat and scarf then we have this little guy who looks like he's swimming and I have all kinds of little bits and pieces here that we can put together why don't we put a scarf on this guy <clears throat> And we will just lay the pieces out and see what we come up with. So a little scarf, and I have a little toque in here as well. Just pop that right on this little guy's head. Isn't that cute? All right, so we have that guy, that guy, and this little guy who looks like he's swimming. And we have some trees. And I'm wondering if I layer these trees up, I think that it may look just like a green blob. But we're gonna try it and see. Yeah, it's kind of what I was afraid of. I think we're just going to use the one strip of trees. And I need my snips to do a little surgery here. Like so. And then I'm just going to put those like that. We have to remember when we put this on, vellum is slippery, so it's kind of like a one-shot deal. Pop it in place and don't move it. All right, beautiful. And 
think I'm going to pop this guy right here, but I think I'm going to put him on dimensionals. catch his hat when I put the dimensional on so that that stays together. Oh, my fingers are sticky. Very, very sticky. I want him kind of off the edge. And then we'll go down to this guy. <laughs> he looks so serene. <laughs> Once again, I'll catch the edge of that hat. And we'll pop this guy off the edge as well, because we want to be able to see that beautiful background. All right, that's it for dimensionals. Let us find our Wink of Stella. And I am going to sparkle up our trees. Just to make them shine. I don't know whether the camera is picking this up or not. Probably not. But it is very glitzy. There we go. Now, I don't think that that needs any more embellishment. I think that is just beautiful the way it is. However, on the inside, I'm going to put another little penguin. I am going to add a little toque to him as well. Actually, I'll put the toque on last. I'm going to glue the penguin right to the card, like so. Then I'm going to put a scarf on. And his toque. There we go. Isn't that cute? Now, the only thing I don't have on here is a greeting. So, we can grab a greeting strip and there are lots of greetings in here um, I'm just gonna go with the little one that says seasons greetings that way it's not going to be too big And I am going to use black ink. There we go, that one looks a little better. Now I need my chamois again. We'll get that out of the way. to trim out this greeting. 
Let me see what I can find. I am looking. I wonder if that'll fit. I'm looking at my punch drawer here. No, that's too big. I am looking for something. How about this? Oh, it might be too, it might be too big. Let me cut this off. It might be able to make it work though. If I just center it. Or I could just do this. Right onto the floor. All right, I'm not liking that either. So I'm gonna. Ooh, this was off of that piece of vellum that was sitting aside to dry. I'll bring that in to show you, just so you can see what it's looking like. I put a lot more on that one and it ran more. It was less. This one's more dots and this one kind of ran a little bit. So like I said, you're going to get a different look every time you use it. Just gonna put that little tag up there on a couple of mini dimensionals if I can find those. Yep, right here. Oops, must be some open here. There's one, two. Bring a card back in. And you will get a greeting on there. And since you've stuck around to the end of this video, I might have another card to show you that I made earlier with a different bundle. All right, this is our card that we made today with our penguins. And here's a different card I made using the same technique. This I did it on vellum and then I cut the vellum out with a circle and I mounted it on basic white again but behind it I have some of the white felted vellum that specialty paper and then I used the seal bundle and the hope your Christmas makes a big splash this one opens differently it's the card mounted on the um, starry sky. So there are the two cards for today. I hope you have enjoyed this technique. I hope you give it a try. It's a little bit messy. Yes, you see my fingers, but it is a heck of a lot of fun and it makes gorgeous, gorgeous patterns on the vellum. So give it a try. All right. Love to see your cards. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.